Hello and welcome to this Tips and Techniques in AX tutorial. The video will last about 3 minutes and you will be introduced to some useful and time-saving techniques which you can use in AX. We will take a look at creating favourites to point to screens you use regularly, you will see how to insert today's date quickly, and we will cover useful techniques to find information. Let's get started. You can use My Favourites to create and manage shortcuts to screens such as forms, reports and inquiries that you use regularly. Depending on how many favourites you create, you can group these in folders. To add your own shortcut to favourites, right click the menu item you wish to add, I have selected the All Customer list, then click Add to Favourites. The new favourites has been created within the My Favourites folder. You can organise your favourites. To do this, right click My Favourites, then choose Organise Favourites. Here we can reorder the list items by clicking and dragging them, or rename and delete items. We can create additional folders as well, and rename, delete and move items into those. Note, when inputting data, some fields are mandatory and you will not be able to save or progress the record further without supplying it. Mandatory fields are displayed with a red wavy line. Let's take a look at some techniques in AX. You can insert today's date in any field by simply typing the letter T. Here you can see I have opened an invoice registration screen. The date field contains a previously used but incorrect date. My vendor invoice is dated today. I will type the letter T in the date field. When I press enter or simply click away from the field, today's date is inserted. You can find a record quickly by using the filter by grid feature. I am in the chart of accounts list page and I want to find the bank charges account code. I can switch on the filter by grid feature using the tool or pressing Ctrl G. Notice how the white grid appears below the column headings. I will click below the account name heading and type the word bank. To tell AX that the description contains this word, I click the downward arrow and choose contains. Notice that you can choose other parameters too. AX will insert an asterisk either side of my text. The asterisk is known as a wildcard, which allows you to enter part of a word or a string of words rather than the whole thing, which gives you a better chance at finding a match. You can use the same tool to switch the filter by grid off. You can also use filter by grid on drop down lists. Here I am selecting a project for a journal. I can find it quickly by switching on Filter by Grid. This time I use Ctrl and G. A helpful function that can be used throughout the system is the right click menu option View Details. This is used to quickly jump to the original or source record for the information that you are viewing. In this virtual transaction screen, if I right click on a specific project code and choose View Details, that project record will be opened. That's all for the Tips and Techniques module. You are ready to look at filtering and inquiries in AX, which is the next video in the series.